We're working on the challenge nested lists one in accumulators. And um, this just says fill in the logic according to the doc string. We want to create a nested list within list one um, where all of the elements in the list from the start index and a stop index um, are in that nested list. We have an example here. We see we have the list X and we pass that in as an argument to uh, the function we're writing nest elements. Um, start index zero, end index four. That means the items between uh, index zero and index four um, are going to be in a nested list. We can see that uh, this is inclusive in our description. So items in indexes zero through four are now in a nested list. So um, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to um, make a new list that we're gonna end up returning. And then we're also gonna need a nested list. This ends up inside of our actual function. We do know that uh, we're going to iterate through our list. And um, because I know we're dealing with indexes, it, it, that's a pretty good sign to me that we should use the enumerate function um, for to help us solve this problem. Um, in this case, um, the example shows numbers, but it could be uh, non-number. So I'm going to use the more generic term object. And the first thing that I want to do is say, uh, if my index is greater than or equal to uh, start index and it is less than or equal to my stop index, then I want to append it to the nested list. So that takes care of that. Um, and the next thing that I want to do is if it's, if it's not meeting those two conditions, if it's not one of the numbers that should be in our nested list, um, then I'm just going to want to go ahead and um, append it to our return list. Use the wrong variable name up here, num instead of object. So we've got a pretty good start here. Um, there's one thing missing, and that is that my nested list will not be inside of my return list. And a way that we can cope with that is to actually use another nested if statement. And if we say um, that our index is actually equal to my stop index, um, I know I'm done adding to my nested list. I've reached the end of the objects that I want to add to that. Um, so I can actually append that nested list, which is now completed to my return list. And um, I think that I'm in good shape here. If I go ahead and run this, we can see if the test is correct. Um, I do have uh, an argument missing here. Let's see if I can figure out where this is. Um, looks like I just left the parameter out of my enumerate object. Um, that should be list one. Now, if I check this, we should be in good shape. Um, still have an issue. And I am, it says none is not equal to this. Um, looks like I've made a somewhat silly mistake, but we all do it. Um, I forgot to return my return list. Now, hopefully this time we are in good shape and we can see that is indeed the case.